Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Aquarius for November 2019. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a when will I find new love forecast. Okay, so this is going to be for my singles or my people who are in like situationships or something of that sort. Okay, um, you guys have asked me to do this reading. So I'm doing it for you guys now. And yeah, keep in mind. This is going to be general. So everything I say may or may not pertain to you specifically. I wouldn't take everything super, super personal. Um, and if you are someone who's looking for personal guidance, I do offer video sessions. Unfortunately, I am not offering phone sessions. But um, if you are interested in that, all that information will be listed below so that you can go ahead and book your session. All right. So what is going on with my Aquarius for November 2019? My single Aquarius or my Aquarius... Just looking for guidance on when they will find new love. Give me a start on that, please. Okay, so past energy, present, external influences, advice, the near future, and then the outcome. Overall energy for my Aquarius love life and the advice. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing we're going to talk about is the past energy. And what we have representing it, we do have the death card, okay? So with the death card, you could have been dealing with the Scorpio. Um, don't, you don't, yeah, you didn't have to be. Um, but with this, you could be... Or in the past, you could have ended things with someone due to the fact that things just were not changing. Uh, this could have been like issues as far as you guys understanding where um, each other is coming from in communication. This could also be uh, things not changing as far as the effort put into the relationship. You may have felt like the person you were dating didn't give you enough effort or energy. For others of you, it's just a lot of changes that were taking place within your love life. This could be a change in the type of people that you're interested in. This could be a change in um, your understanding of love just in general. This doesn't have to be external changes. Now, clarifying the death card, I do have the full card. So this could have been um, also with an Aries or a air sign. But a lot of you, you definitely did end things in the past so that a new beginning could happen for you as far as love goes. And I am seeing that you guys are in a space of really, or were in a space, because we're talking about the past, you guys were in a space of really just focusing on yourself and getting your own sense of happiness. Um, also, this could have been you like trying to just see your relationship for what it is, especially if you felt like you were foolish for continuously dealing with someone who wasn't living up to your expectations, if that makes sense. Now, when it comes to the current energy, I do have the King of Wands. So for some of you, you could be dating an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or there could be an interest there if it's not dating. Um, with this King of Wands energy, I am seeing that if you're not dating a fire sign, you just have this very passionate connection with someone, but it's like you're torn. You're torn. You're in a rock and a hard place when it comes to whether or not you should communicate with this person or leave this person alone because they may have played mind games in the past or there may have been very spiteful things that this person may have done said or even for some of you it's just like this person is just sneaky and for a lot of you it's like this situation is giving you a lot of anxiety you may be thinking about it a lot and just running all over the place when it comes to whether or not you can still put yourself in a position of dealing with this person Now, in regards to the external influences that may be affecting you, I do have the world card. And this is, again, a lot of cycles closing out for you. A huge life cycle just in general is closing out for you. And you're really having to understand what type of partner you're looking for in the next cycle of your life. Sometimes we keep accepting people back into our lives who don't add anything to us but just take 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 as far as energy as far as time as far as all that stuff they have nothing to add 
And for a lot of you, a cycle did close out with an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And it's like you may be feeling stuck and not knowing how to proceed after that, especially if you guys were together for a long time. This may have been somebody who you moved with like long distance and then now you're having to like readjust to you know being in your own space for some of you others of you again there's just cycles closing out for you where you felt stuck and stagnant and not knowing which way to move I feel like now you're able to realize who's a loyal partner who is someone who you could build with and who's not and now you're having a chance to walk away and do what's best for your emotional needs now, for the advice I can give you, I do have the Page of Pentacles, and there's a need for you to make sure that you are, again, getting a good idea of what you will and will not accept in love. With the Page of Pentacles, you may be dealing with people who do not live up to your expectations uh, as far as like being a stable enough partner or somebody who you could actually build with. This may be like just you guys dealing with people who are like friends with benefits type of situations or even it may not be a friends with benefits type of situation. It's just they don't have much to offer as far as what you're looking for. And there's a need for you to just be patient when it comes to things changing. Um, what I will say is make sure you're not being impulsive when it comes to anyone like just trying to show back up in your life. Randomly, I would definitely take your time with that. Especially if this is a Gemini or an Earth sign. Maybe even a Sagittarius for some of you. But the near future, I do have the Three of Cups. And with this, I am seeing that you may possibly be reconciling with someone from your past. It doesn't have to be super, super far back in your past. This could be last week uh, when I say past. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, but with the Three of Cups, I am seeing a reconciliation happen here. Now, whether or not you open yourself up to it is going to be really your decision. And same thing for the Cross Watcher. Like, depending on whether or not you want to open up to this reconciliation or be willing to go through with it is really going to be your choice. Because for a lot of you, this is a situation that really felt like it depleted you at one point. You may not be here for it. You may have to, you know, decide really and truly if this is something that you want. Now, what I am seeing for the outcome, I do have the Ten of Cups. And with this, you could be focusing on your family unit, possibly with um, with the father of your kids or the, the mother of your kids. Others of you, you could be focused more on family matters, taking care of that. Like when I say family, I mean like your mother and father, things of that nature. Others of you, this is like in love. You may get back into good graces with someone after being patient for some time. But again, there may be still someone holding on to something. This looks like you guys that you haven't had a chance to move on from. This may be with a cancer. Like I said, maybe another uh, air sign. And maybe even an earth sign. But for a lot of you, you guys are going to get back into good graces with someone. Now, whether or not you can move on from whatever happened... As far as letting go of, you know, the past, that may be difficult. Now, the overall energy, I do have flirt. So with this, there is going to be some flirty energy back and forth between you and another person this month. I feel like you guys will be in the stages of like seeing whether or not you could take it to the next level. Um, but I am seeing that it will happen very soon if it doesn't happen this month. Uh, where you guys do take things to the next level. What does need to happen though, someone here does need to open up, whether it's you or the cross watcher. There may be issues with someone being very defensive, whether it's because of the fact that they had a rough past with you or if this person is just, you know, scared because of what they've gone through with another situation. And what we have for the advice, I do have getting to know each other. So with this, there's definitely a need for you to take your time to get to know whoever you're dealing with. Um, take time to really listen to what they have to say or allow them to speak because this person will definitely give you the information much needed for whether or not you could deal with them. All right, ask them, like, do you want a committed relationship? Are you looking for something that's, you know, not that deep? Because this person may have some ex issues or there's still maybe some, you know, issues still lingering within that connection that may 
be important for you to, you know, pick up on now. So I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you were able to take something from this reading. Uh, if you did enjoy, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do want a video session with me, that information will be listed below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.